Why do we need history today? We, in, in reality, we've needed history for quite a long time. We've used, the civilization has used history for quite a long time to its benefit. Uh, and, and depending on how, how they've uh, interpreted it, to, to detriment as well. But uh, today, I think the uh, massive interconnectedness of, of uh, the world uh, and, and societies and people uh, and transportation and science, the speed and rapidity with which science and uh, technology is, is moving us forward, uh, as well as uh, opening up huge, um, huge tidal wave, a tidal wave of information, uh, not, not, not all of it uh, easy to interpret. Uh, and I think uh, because of these things, uh, history today is, is, is more important than ever. And, and, and when I, I say history, I think, uh, of course, history uh, is happening all the time. And you don't have to go to school uh, to get history. The, the internet, you can go on the internet and find all, any obscure, any type of history that you're interested in. You can find all, a huge amount of information on anything. So it's not really history uh Having history examples and having history uh, and access to information of history that, that we have a problem with now, nowadays. Uh, in the past, there was much less of it, of course, as history developed. But today, uh, I think it's more, uh, you, you, the reason you learn about history now going to school or, or, or being in school as a child, you, have, you, know, you don't have a choice, you go to school, and, and most in the United States, it's public schools, a lot, uh, you know, we've had public education, is to uh, help uh, people learn about their culture and about their government and about their society uh, over a period of time and, and, and then uh, using that information to become uh, good and productive citizens. And uh, so that is the reason uh, why history is important, uh, so important today. And uh, the, also why education of, of history uh, professors and teachers is important because it's, it's a complex uh, a complex world with a lot of different uh, opinions that have to be, and, and viewpoints uh, that have to be shown. Uh, diversity has to be shown uh, and also uh, navigated so that people get a good picture of, of, of uh, the world around them and how to use it as best they can, make decisions as best they can to, to their advantage, okay? So I think in, the, in we can go back to, uh, ancient uh, hunter-gathering societies. And in these societies, uh, there, was, there was really not, you didn't need to know history as much. The myth and superstition and the gods could get you through the day and get you through the year. Uh, if, you knew, if you knew about the weather and maybe one, one winter, spring, summer uh, uh, type thing, the rhythms of the year, that was what you needed. People were spread out and it wasn't so important to know, to know history. Okay, but uh, since then, in uh, as society developed, especially as we saw in ancient Greece and ancient uh, Athens, uh, the the populations increased. There's more governments. There's more hierarchy, and uh, there gets to be a problem with just relying on the gods and superstition, uh, and that is why. Uh, you know, Socrates let, let, was somebody who, who, who signaled that uh, problem, uh, you know, with the d problem with the gods uh, versus uh, ration, reasoning and, uh, and, and rational thought and order. Uh, so Thucydides and Herodotus uh, at that same time decided it was time to be the fathers of history and to go out and, and, and record history so that leaders could uh, make decisions, make better decisions, rather than relying on Zeus and how he might have affected your brother's, uh, uh, I don't know, his, his ankle being hurt or his, 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 his uh, decision to uh, invade another country. You could rely more on history and say, wait a second, it doesn't seem like in looking into the past that, that something like that will work out. You have to do something that's more logical, like in history. You gotta look, look back in the past and see what works. And so this expanded in, in the Roman Empire, of course, they, from, from Greece to the Roman Empire. 
And then we have uh, the, the great uh, historians, hist historiographers, Polybius, uh, Tacitus, Livy, Cicero, and, uh, and others, uh, Salulus, S Salulus? I'm, sure, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but the, these historians went ahead and tried to also, they had more access to records, record, written records are, are getting bigger now, and uh, they have access, access at the top of government in leadership positions, and they, they, they wrote more things in their history, they, they, added, they added their perceptions and possibly pointing uh, a direction that, that history may, may, that may favor history so that when leaders read it, uh, they, they get an, uh, uh, some extra understanding of history and what might work. Okay, so there was a little bit of a beginning of that happening with, with these, with these uh, historians. They're giving some perspective. And then, of course, in the Middle Ages, uh, things went back to a religious uh, bend, okay, with, with uh, our, our good friend uh, Augustine of Hippo uh, and uh, Bede. Uh, they, they, they went back to, to s s a religious uh, ideas of history and, and bringing those to the people, you know, and, 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 and in its way, faith, faith and uh, beliefs are important to people at, at all at all times, especially in hard times. Uh, and and looking back at them and what they've written is helpful to us today as well. And there are a lot of uh, religious people uh, that that find uh, that find meaning in life through through looking at uh, faith and maybe looking back at where, where faith has has come from uh, and where it's bringing bringing them and hopefully where it will lead them uh, in the future. Okay, so that, that's the salvation history is also important. And, and then going to the Renaissance, of course, we have uh, the Renaissance opened up, uh, you know, science and, uh, and added history and uh, politics and philosophy a lot and art. And, and all these things are recorded in history that we can look back at and uh, see and kind of uh, emulate the good and shy away from the bad. Right, and we also uh, in the United States. What's very important to the school system now, and in, in, in time in the United States, is uh, its foundation. And of course, uh, uh, Hobbes and Locke and, and uh, Rousseau were important in the uh, making the ideas of liberal liberal democracy, liberal constitutional democracy. And uh, th these uh, people are, are people we need to study in history, and we do study in, in high school and uh, at the university level. Uh, so. History, of course, is, is you see, is, is helping us at all the times, and there's there's a, a big reason to study history, um, and then and then uh, also we study in, in high schools and junior high schools and elementary schools. Of course, not not everywhere, but I'm saying most places uh, in the country they, they will study also uh, about American history, and part of it is uh, uh, the upside of history, which uh, the Bancroft uh, was was one of the people forming that, where it romanticizes history and brings, uh, it, it brings a historical perspective that's patriotic uh, to people, which is also a history that is shown in schools. Not more, I think now they're doing, a, trying to do a more of a, a cultural awareness and the downside of, of uh, uh, U.S. history, you know, taking advantage of other people and slavery and all that, which is, is, is very necessary. So uh, this is all part of our, our uh, system that, that we, we need we need history we need its importance of history is, is shown all the time uh, so that brings us kind of back to modern days and uh, knowing history and learning history and taking history in college or high school will, will help you with your decision making it helps you uh, you sift through history with the help of the instructors a lot of times and and find out what's important and you find how to, how to synthesize the information and you use that uh, as, as your uh, uh, that ability you learn while writing your papers and all that to to uh, further for the rest of your life in in order to uh, look at different uh, problems that come up in life or to, for jobs when you have to do some some research then you know how to do it so this is all the importance of history and uh, I think I'm way over on my time but uh, you know what that's life and that's now history. <laughs>